We do have the new advisory coming in now from the National Hurricane Center, and we've been watching for this closely. So now, still remaining at a Category 4, still has those winds at 130 miles per hour, and it continues to chug along relatively quickly north-northwest at 13 miles per hour. So that hasn't changed very much. No surprise there, and you'll notice on the western side of that, the eye kind of falling apart, but the storm itself still has a pretty decent eye and you've got some big storms popping up over on the eastern side of the storm as it tracks up to the north. Amy, latest advisory coming in now from the Hurricane Center and look at that, still holding tight. Hillary, Category 4. Yes, it is a weak Category 4, um, right on the threshold there of, of changing categories. But when you look at this, uh, the weakening that's expected to start today um, it still has not changed mm -hmm. the wind field where hurricane force winds do extend about 50 miles from the center of the storm. The wind field is still very mm -hmm. intact with 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 Hillary, right. which is important because that's what keeps it well supported and well organized. But no real change in the pressure nor the movement. Speed does start to play a role. Once the storm makes its way over the cooler waters, we'd like it to slow down as much as possible, not keep this pace of 10 to 15 miles an hour. If it slows down over the cooler waters, that allows the wind field to expand more. And I think that's what we'll anticipate. But the moisture is there. The moisture is already a part of the system, and that's really what the alerts and the flooding potential is all about. Look at this wind gust forecast, Craig, though. You can see by tomorrow at this same time, there is your wind field moving along the coast of, of uh, Mexico right into San Diego and California with wind speeds uh, at landfall, probably at perhaps a hurricane force and then quickly diminishing. See how quickly we go down to the 40 to 50 mile an hour wind. Now that doesn't discount what could happen on the mountain ranges. Yeah, exactly. And those mountains are going to squeeze out a lot of that moisture, that upslope for sure, and all of that moisture banking up to it. You think about some of the burn scar areas, but not only that, Amy, all of the areas in and around this location, because you've got a lot of just desert or arid type of terrain out here, large boulders, and a lot of the terrain that just doesn't absorb this amount of moisture, and it has nowhere to go. And as you know, water's going to go wherever it needs to go. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.